Hello, hello. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about simple probability. And probability of an event is a number between 0 and 1. And the probability P of an event is the ratio of successes, successful outcomes called successes to all outcomes of the event called possibilities. And I think this ratio, we're seeing this written as a formula, um, makes the most sense because we have probability of an event, that E in the parentheses will be the event we're looking for, and we have the fraction of successes over the total possibilities. So successes would be the things we're looking for, possibilities would be all the things that could possibly happen. So likelihood, when the probability is greater than 0 0.5, that implies that what we're talking about is likely to happen. And when the probability is smaller than 0 0.5, it implies that the event is unlikely to happen. So chance is just how likely it is that something will happen. The state chance, we use a percent. So probability, we use between 0 and 1. And chance, we use from 0% to 100%. So like when you hear the weatherman talk about, oh, there's an 80% chance of rain today, they're talking about chance, and they're talking about it as a percent. Um, we say in probability, if something is certain to happen, we don't say 100% like we would with chance. With probability, we say it ha if it's certain to happen, would be one. If it is impossible to happen, would be zero. But most of the time, our probability is a fraction somewhere between 0 and 1. Don't get probability confused with odds. So the probability that an event will occur is a fraction of times you expect to see that the event in many trials. So probability is always a range between 0 and 1. The odds are defined as a probability that the event will occur as the ratio of the probability that the event will not occur. So odds are like successes as a ratio to failures, where probability is successes compared to all the different possible outcomes. So we're going to concentrate on probability. So let's say we have a dice, a six-sided dice. What's the probability of rolling a two? Well, there's only one side that has a two on it, so that would be our success a successful outcome would be if we rolled a two. And then all the possibilities, there are six different ways a dice could land. So we have the ratio of the probability one, six. One success out of six possibilities. Odds would be different. So odds would say there we're talking about favorable versus unfavorable. So we're looking at one side, two, five that are not. So we're going to concentrate on probability where we're looking at one, po one favorable outcome out of six possibilities. So you guys write down what you think the probability of rolling an even number is. I'll give you a minute to think about that. What is the probability of rolling an even number? All right, so our even numbers are what? Two, four, and six. So there are three successful outcomes out of six possibilities. So our probability is going to be 3, 6. And we can look at that as a decimal or percent. So we know that 3, 6 is the same as 0.5 as a decimal or 50%. And you'll see those used um, kind of interchangeably. I always start probability with the fraction part. But you guys should know that that's equivalent to 0.5 or 50%. And the probability of event, we're looking at the successes versus po possibilities. The successes in this case would be rolling a two, four, or six. Those would be the even numbers over the possibilities. Well, we have six different possibilities. It be, could be a one, two, three, four, five, or six rolled. Now, there are certain and impossible outcomes. An event that is certain to happen would have a probability of one. So let's say, what's the probability that we roll an integer? Well, integers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, and they're opposites. So 
all the answers are included in integers. All those outcomes would be positive. So there's a six out of six chance, which we say is one. So if it is certain to happen, we say the probability is one. If we have something that's impossible to happen, the probability would be zero. So since the dice are all numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, our probability of rolling a zero is zero because there are no sides that are zero. So no matter what side is rolled, it is not gonna be a zero. So there is a zero probability. So anything that's impossible, we say the probability is zero. Now, with probability, we talk a lot about coins because coins would be our most basic probability. Um, there's, if we're looking for flipping a coin and landing on heads, there's one positive outcome, there's two possibilities. If we're looking at tails, there's one success compared to two possibilities. So uh, flipping a coin is our most basic terms of probability of one half. The probability heads is one success out of two possible. The probability of tails is one success out of two possible. So if we toss a quarter 50 times, how many times should it land on tails? Well, it should land on it 25 times. Now, it won't be a great surprise if I flip my coin and it was 23 times or 27 times. So I should expect somewhere about that this is called experimental probability. If I tried this in real life, I would expect to get a number somewhere near 25. I would not expect to get 50 heads in a row. Um, that would be a great surprise. Could it happen? Yes. Is it likely to happen? No, not likely to happen. If I tried this in real life, probably going to be a number somewhere close to 25. That's experimental probability. What is the probability of rolling a five or a six? Well, I have two of my dice are five and six out of six possibilities. So two out of six, which reduces the fraction one third or 33% of the time when I roll a dice, it will land on five or six. Remember we're comparing successes to possibilities. So there were two of these that were successes out of six possible. For probability. And we're always looking for that number between 0 and 1. All right, I want you guys to pause the video here and answer the questions about marbles. This would be a great example for you to have written down the original problem and then your different solutions. All right, welcome back. Our probability of a blue marble. Well, what kind of marbles do I have? I have 12 blue, 8 green, and 5 red. Those are all the marbles in our jar. So, the probability of drawing a blue marble would be 12 out of our 25, or 0.48 as a decimal. Not blue. How many of these are not blue? Well, green are not blue, and five uh, red are not blue. So eight green and five red. There are 13 marbles that are not blue out of 25 marbles. So our probability of not blue, 13 over 25, 52%. Not black. All right, well, there are only blue, green, and red marbles in the jar. So when I reach into that jar and I grab a marble, um, all 25 of those are not black. So 25 out of 25 or one. That is certain that I will not draw a black marble. All right, as opposed to our last question, what is the probability of drawing a black marble? Well, none of the marbles in there are black. So when I reach in there and pull out any marble, it's going to be blue, green, or red. All those are not black. So, so no matter what, I have a zero chance of pulling out a black marble out of that jar because there are no black marbles in the jar to begin with. So um, notice the difference between not a black marble and a black marble. We have a certain that it's not black, so we have a probability of one. And for drawing a black, we have a probability of zero. So those are completely different answers. Watch out for those. Make sure you know the difference. 
Now, a deck of cards is used a lot in probability. Um, a deck of cards, you can look up the standard definition. If you're not familiar with cards, you're going to want to be for probability. So they have four suits, hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds, and each is numbered an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, as well as jack, queen, and king. There are 52 cards in your standard deck, and we're looking for the probability on drawing one card from a standard deck of cards, and we're looking at the probability of drawing an ace. Well, out of my 52 cards, how many of them are aces? Well, there are four different aces, one for each suit, and they're shown here. And so we have four out of 52 would be our probability. All right, last question. You guys try this one. Find the probability of drawing a club. All right, so there are 52 cards in a standard deck, and there are one-fourth of those are clubs. There are 13 cards that are clubs out of 52 cards total, and that would be 25% of the time because one-quarter of all the cards are clubs. And if you're not familiar with cards, you could talk to people that are. They're easy to Google and find out what a deck of cards looks like, and you want to make sure you are familiar with those. They are used a ton in probability. And I hope that helps you guys with simple probability. Have a great day.